What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales of Crestoria video. So, if you didn't see my community tab post or you don't follow the Tales of Crestoria Twitter, they did tease the next banner now. Of course, uh, the end of the month always feels like, the, you know, there's a lot stacked together because they usually do the EX banner uh, shortly after the story chapter or around the story chapter, and then... Which actually this month it wasn't like that because we got the story chapter much earlier. And then usually the fog, because we always have a double character banner, you know, every like, you know, 15 days, you know, twice a month basically. And then we have an EX banner towards the end of the month. So uh, it is unfortunate that Artorius and this banner drop so close together, but it is what it is. Speaking of Artorius, I did end up, I mean, you'll, you'll be able to tell by my Gleamstone count. Um, I think I threw five multis total and i actually managed to get him because i thought about it and i was like i really do need a good light unit uh to replace milla now of course uh machina is still kind of like my hardest hitting uh light unit but i think once artorius is fully duped out you know in the long away future from now uh he's gonna be great but even now he does have um some good damage to him. I guess we can take a look at him right now before we hop into uh, this uh, stuff. So, um, yeah, you know, he has a decent memory on him and he's got almost 9,000 power. So he is definitely beating uh, Milla. I mean, not by much. I mean, you can really tell right there. Um, but once he, that that's comparing a fully duped out Milla to one dupe Artorias. So once, once I'm finished with... Uh, <laughs> Mizella, and then once I finish with Acid, I will definitely be moving on to Artorius, and when he's fully duped out, he's going to be great. But, that's not what we're here to talk about. Let's hop over to the news. So we are getting an SSR Guy and an SSR Elise. So we are getting um, some seasonals for them, kind of like before the uh, autumn season. Um, I guess it technically will be the autumn season, because uh, it's about to be September. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, Guy feels like it's very, very fast. Plus, we've gotten such a slew of Abyss characters in, like, the last, like, six months. But is what it is. Um, very funny. And I saw someone mention this, that we're getting our second Guy, but we still don't have a Flynn. When, in most cases, Flynn is the more popular character. You know, they, there's always a joke going around that they're basically, like, Flynn is, like, a copy of Guy. But for whatever reason, Flynn seems to be more popular. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but that's just what I see uh, most of the time. You know, Flynn seems to get more of the love, especially in the mobile games, than Guy does. Uh, I remember back in Rays, uh, he got released in the first, like, six months. And then he didn't get a seasonal for almost two years after that. He didn't get a second Mirror Jar until almost two years after that. So that's crazy. Um, so yeah, so Guy and Elise, so this is nice because Elise finally gets an SSR, uh, before she only had her, uh, what was it, Dark? I believe her SR is Dark, so this is pretty nice. I do know their elements because I actually fell asleep and I woke up after they were posted, so I did see the Twitter post. So, Guy is Wind, and Elise is Water. If Elise is going to be Water, I kind of hope she's a healer, uh, because Rial is fine, but I, I do like when there's options. Uh, and then, of course, we'll go over the new limited quest here in just a second. But let's take a look at what uh, Guy and Elise do. So their banner will be dropping on the 31st. So pretty much they drop tomorrow. So we get the news literally a day before they drop. So that's something. Um, all right. So Guy, is, is he attack heavy? He is. Okay, so he's pretty much similar to his, uh, right, his regular one was attack heavy too, but I think this one is more balanced, because he, he, this guy is awful for HP, um, but he's got good attack and defense, so I guess that does, uh, make him a bit different, plus he's wind, um, okay, so let's take a look. So, his Memoria Stone, 10,000 HP, 2100 attack, 700 defense, it's a very good attack heavy, uh, Memoria. And he gives 30% uh, attack to sword allies. So not a bad Memoria to keep up. Um, I usually don't keep Memorias for non-limited units. 
unless it's something very very unique this is not something that's like crazy unique like you can find you can get alternatives to an attack boosting memoria like if i were to pull for a guy and get him i would probably feed in his memoria because it's not like insane uh there are memorias out there to kind of work with um okay so 26,400 hp that's pretty low um so he does feel a lot but he has good defense so i guess that does make up for it uh 5040 attack and 4320 defense so that's pretty good and then his skill is having a good time uh plus 60 percent attack to sword allies at 40 hits so that's a good uh attack boost so if you are running him on a win team it seems like you want to run more kind of like sword units um which is unfortunate because a lot of well i guess i don't know that this guy would necessarily replace velvet like i'm still running the wind velvet because i don't really have anyone that hits harder um of course mizella is not gonna get uh any kind of boost from uh that skill either uh the new anniversary mizella uh who else am i running on my team i pulled tier unfeatured i don't know if i mentioned that in a video or not um i think it was on my first no i wouldn't have because i think it was on my first artorias summon uh, I pulled uh, the Summer Tier, so I have her on my team. I'm not sure if I'm going to have her replace Estelle yet, because without full dupes, I don't know if she's going to be better. But uh, I'm running her right now, seeing how things work. Um, and who's my... Oh, and I run Sync as well. So, yeah, this guy would... If I was going to use this guy for his skills, it would not help out my team very much at all. Um, and then he gets plus 25 to the Overlimit Gauge of Wind Allies when arts are used. Uh, well, that's, you know, the party. Um, okay, let's take a look. So, obviously not a combo build. You can tell by the number of hits for his arts. So, Moonbloom Slash, 408% damage, 2 hits, 1 enemy. Crescent Strike, 180% damage, 2 hits, 1 enemy. And Worm Wrath, 230% damage, 7 hits, 1 enemy. Additional effect, 100% chance to decrease defense of 1 enemy by 20% for 2 turns. He's okay. Um... None of his arts have anything too crazy. We've seen a lot better def defense or just debuffs in general from units lately. So, you know, just 20% for two turns for one enemy is kind of disappointing, I want to say. So, uh, I mean, obviously there are going to be people who just go for guy because it's guy. But actual unit wise, uh, I'm not really impressed with anything he has uh, overall. Um, but that's fine. You know, if he, he is a solid wind unit, so if you're still building your wind team, he is not a horrible character to go after. Also, before we move on to Elise, I want to say this. There, and I, you know, I really shouldn't be the one to say this since I have been doing summons. But, um, there is a very decent, I want to say decent chance, because I'm not going to say good chance, because I don't know what's on their mind for this, that we could see a Tales of Arise banner following this banner. We could very well see an Alpha and Geon banner to kind of so this banner leaves when how long does this banner stick around for this banner sticks around till september 15th tales of arise comes out on september 10th so they could very well on september 16th you know almost a week after the game's release because there's not going to be any story relevancy to just dropping a banner we've already seen you know even in the trailers we've seen a lot of the arts that they would put on an alpha and geon unit for crestoria so they could literally just drop them in the game to capitalize it, which actually would be very smart because people will have been playing for five, six days and they'll see the characters dropping in Crystoria and be like, oh, I want these in my collection. So keep that in mind if you do decide to summon for Guy and Elise. Now let's take a look at Elise and see what she does. Um, is she a healer in any? Okay, so she does have one team heal for 45. 45% for a regular art is actually really good. I mean, it's a very long cooldown. Six turns is a lot, um, but it is kind of nice to see. Um, but let's take a look at what she does. Um, her Memoria, 22,000 HP, 1,900 attack, 900 defense, so very attack heavy. Uh, her Memoria skill is just weak resist, 100%. Um, that's something you can get on free Memorias, um, you know, just farming around. So that would definitely be a Memoria I would not really keep, probably. Um, plus there, if you, you can make the argument, well, oh, you want to keep it for the attack heaviness. Um, there's a lot of, there's a decent amount of water memorias that are attack heavy you could use instead. 
Um, but you know, if you decide to keep it, you know, that's fine. Uh, it'll just take some time to build it up. So Elise, the rabbit on the moon. I love the artwork, by, by the way, this is a new costume. I was uh, looking around last night. I was looking because I, I had a feeling it was Elise, but I wasn't sure if it was like a new costume or not because the edge of it, you know, the, the where her right hand is, is kind of what they were showing and then a little bit of her hair. Um, it didn't look familiar to anything she had and it really, it wasn't. Um, I'm surprised they didn't use her because she already has kind of like this autumn themed uh, costume in Asteria, but this one is obviously brand new that they wanted to go with. The guy, however, is not new. This is the one they put in Asteria like a year or so ago. Um, so I guess Elise does get the uh, win here. Um, okay, so 57,600 HP, so very HP heavy, and then 3,060 attack and 3,600 defense. So she's not... Is she a combo builder? She is. Okay. That makes sense. All right. So water... Actually, that's pretty useful. Uh, I don't know who really is a great water combo builder uh, up to this point. So Elise being that is actually really, really good. Um, moon viewing party. 20% max HP to water allies and 35% attack to staff allies at 40 hits. I don't know how many water... You, I mean, obviously... Um, she would probably she would give a boost to Riala, I believe. Um, so that would be pretty good. Uh, I actually don't know what Riala's weapon type is. I don't know if it's classified as staff or not. We'll take a look in a second. I want to see if we do actually have a combo builder for water uh, or not as well. So Moon Drop Hammer, 140% damage, 40 hits, one enemy. Uh, Over limits only 190, so you get that up very quickly. Additional effect, 100% chance to decrease defense of one enemy by 10% for five turns. That is much better than guys. Uh, obviously, it's a Mystic Art, so it's kind of hard to compare. Um, actually, no, it's not, because you look at her second art, which we'll get to in a second. It's already better. Okay. Why is her... Okay, let's keep going. So, she has Pixie Circle, 45% heal, uh, all allies... And that's obviously a six-turn cooldown. And then Tipo Roar, 120% damage, 11 hits, one enemy. Cooldown two, 100% chance to decrease defense of one enemy by 30% for two turns. And then Guy has... Um, see, and his cooldown, I mean, obviously it does more damage, but the additional effect is obviously much better on Elise because you get 30% for four turns, or... You get 30% for two turns instead of 20% for two turns. Um, okay. They could have given them the same percentage. I mean, I don't see a reason why you wouldn't, but oh well. Um, so that's pretty much it for Guy and Elise. Um, let's just quickly look at the attachments and the limited quests, and then we're going to quickly look to see if uh, Elise is really the... Oh, their outfits look really nice in-game. Uh, Moon Viewing Rapig. Lively Autumn Parasol, I really like that one. An Autumn Leaves, very cool. You'll obviously get the tickets for that to exchange. And then an Ominous Melody. So we're going to be getting an SSR Rowan Memoria with the next event and an SR Richard Memoria. Based on what I saw from the preview shots, uh, it seems like Rowan is the attendant for Richard uh, in this uh, timeline. So uh, I think that's pretty cool. Um... The main Memoria being Wind, so Guy will uh, obviously be the most useful in this event. Uh, over So 8,000 HP, 800 attack, 1,900 defense, but that's obviously you're not going to use that with Guy. Um, and then Overlimit Gauge of Wind now is increases by 21 each turn. And then Richards is 18,000 HP, 500 attack, 400 defense, and gives plus 20% HP to Sword Allies. Pretty cool there. Um, before we get out of here, because I don't want this to run too crazy long, let's just look at the codex real quick. We'll look at water. I want to see if, uh, nope, not attachments. Oh, I got an achievement, apparently. Uh, okay. Um. Let's take a look. Um, I don't think anyone here is really a combo builder. Oh, well, you do have the free Saray, of course. 
Um, the Freeze Array is definitely much better numbers wise. Like you look here, he's an his Mystic Art is an 80 hit, which is insane. And he's got 10 hits and 22 hits. But this is only for one turn. Um, Saray so might be better. Just in the grand scheme of things for combo building, I think this Saray is better. But I do, but of course, most people that haven't, you know, gone crazy on his event don't have him maxed out anyway. So getting this Elise wouldn't be the worst thing. Plus, Elise does have a heal. So if you don't have Riala, who's the only, you know, healer for water as an SSR, um, Elise is still going to be very useful. But anyways, that's going to be it. This has gone on long enough. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think down below about Elise and Guy. Let me know if you're going to be summoning. Um, I am still... Uh, obviously, you know, I'm not going to... Uh, at very most, I might have like 10,000 Gleamstones by the time the next banner rolls around. Um, so if they do drop a Tales of Arise banner, I will probably have to uh, buy some Gleamstones. Um, but we'll have to see what kind of happens with that. So... Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.